Hello and welcome to this video on finding the area of a triangle. Then we've got a triangle here and we've got this side here which we're going to refer to the base. Now the base is often the bottom of the triangle but not necessarily the case. And then we have the height of the triangle and the height of the triangle is always at right angles to wherever we say the base is. So we can see there's a right angle here. So we often call this the perpendicular height because the height is perpendicular, i.e. at right angles to the base. Now, how would we find the area of this? Now, the trick is to turn this into a rectangle. So if we draw a rectangle around this, and then we were to split it like that down the height. Now, can you see that this area here, this triangle, is the same as the area of that triangle there? And this triangle here, we can see is the same triangle as this one here, so they have the same area as well. So it must be that this shaded shape has half the area of the rectangle. Now we know that the area of the rectangle is base times height. It's just the length times the height. So therefore the area of the triangle must be equal to half that, so it's half times the base times the perpendicular height. So let's use that formula here to solve some of these problems. So we want to find the area of the following triangles where we've got this base at the bottom of 4, we've got a perpendicular height of 3, so the area is just going to be half times the base of 4 times by the height which is 3. Now half times 4 is 2 and 2 times 3 is 6. So it has an area of 6 and the unit is going to be centimetres squared. What about the second one? Now, what do we want to make the base? We don't want to make this the base here because we wouldn't know what that perpendicular height is. We're not told that. But let's just say that we made, for example, the 5 the base. Then the perpendicular height, if we go perpendicular to that base of 5, right angles will be this length of 6 here. So you might as well make that the base and therefore that would be the perpendicular height at right angles to it. Or we could make the 6 the base and then the 5 would be the height. So we just need to do half times 5 times 6 or half times 6 times 5 and that will be 15 and it's, the unit's going to be centimetres squared because it's an area. What about C? Now this is a bit harder. We still want to do half times the base times the perpendicular height. Now let's just say if we rotate this a bit, we want to make that the base. It's not going to include that 2 there, the base is just the length of that side there. So it's going to be half times 5. But the perpendicular height is going to be sort of that height there at right angles to the base. So at right angles to this would be in this direction and we can see it's that 4 there. Now that might seem confusing because we've sort of drawn the height outside the triangle, but still, the, the distance from this base here to the top of the triangle, my pen is moving 4 centimetres, so that perpendicular height is 4. So it's half times 5 times 4, which is going to be 10 centimetres squared. What about D? I've put an extra length there that we might not be using. Again, we just need to identify what the base and the perpendicular height are. Well, let's just say that we made the 3 the base, then the perpendicular height to that would be the 4. We're not going to actually use that length of 5 there. So it's just going to be half times the 3 times the 4, and that's going to be 6. This time it's metres, so it's going to be metres squared. Now, what about question 2? This time we're given the area and we want to find the height. So the base is 6, the perpendicular height is x. So we can do the usual thing. The area of the triangle is half times the base, which is 6, times the height, which is x. And we know that is equal to 9 because we're told the area is 9. So we just need to solve this equation now. Now if we just simplify it a bit, half times 6 is 3 and 3 times x is 3x, we so got 3x is equal to 9, and then just dividing both sides by 3, we get x is equal to 3. And let's just check that. If we did half times base times height, half times 6 is 3, times 3 is indeed 9, so it worked. And then finally, we've got this slightly harder question here. If I just draw it a bit bigger, now we need to determine the value of x. Now the interesting thing here is that we can use different sides as the base. 
So if we want to find the area of the triangle using this as a base, then the area would be half times the base of 9 times the perpendicular height, which would be 6. But we could actually find the area of the triangle in a different way. We could use that 10 as the base. Now, if that's the base, then the perpendicular height, if we move our pen at right angles, perpendicular, that height now is x. So we could also have done it using half times 10 times x. And now we just have an equation that we need to solve. So half times 9 times 6 is 27. And half times 10 is 5 times x is 5x. And then we just need to divide both sides by 5. So if we divide both sides by 5, we get 5.4 is equal to x. And that is the value of x.